All right, so this is Battlefield 5, running at the same settings that Intel used in their Twitter video. You can see 1080p, all these options are on. ADS field of view, DOF effects are off. And on the advanced, we're in DX11 mode, high dynam dynamic range is off, future frame rendering is on, GPU rem memory restrictions on, and the graphics quality is high. So 1080p high, and you can see, depending on where we're running, frames per second is gonna be anywhere from a low of about 18 to a high of about 21. Maybe 17 is the low. So depending on what you're doing, you know, almost 20 frames per second, that's not too bad. And this is in, let me just show this, this is in on a razor so you can see if you launch Synapse, we are plugged in and currently using the maximum power high performance mode which runs the CPU, the i7 1065G7 at 25 watts. If we drop it to balanced, it's 20 watts. If we drop it to battery saver, it's 15 watts. That's the normal spec, if you want to call it that. So now we're back in there. We're at 10 watts. Was well, it got to reload? I guess so, because I alt tabbed. Now you can see we're down into the 13 frames per second range. Oh, it uh, restarted the map, or from the checkpoint. 11, 13, and we're, so that extra 25 watts does make a pretty substantial difference in performance. And needless to say, playing at 10 to 15 frames per second makes it a lot harder to aim. This is where I normally run during the benchmark. So there you have it. So depending on what Intel was using in terms of TDP, which we don't know, if it was 15 watts, then it's more than doubling performance with Tiger Lake. If it's if it's um, 25 watts, then it's basically increasing performance by 50% or so, more than slightly more than 50%. Uh, either way, it's a big step up. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.